No. Shade, and I forget the author's name. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with another Top 5 Wednesday video. This week's topic is to name books that have inaccurate covers. So basically books that have covers that have nothing to do with the story, or books that have characters on the front that don't depict the actual characters in the book, things like that. Top 5 Wednesday was originally created by Ginger Reads Laney and it is now run by Sam over at Thoughts on Tome, so I'll leave both their links down below if you want to check them out, as well as the Goodreads book group if you want to join us. So without further ado, let us get started! The first book I'm going to show you guys is Dead Rules by Randy Russell and this book follows a girl and she ends up dying in an accident and basically she tries to kill her boyfriend in order for them to be together. How does this cover have anything to do with that? They could have done so much more with it, like it's literally just a girl's face. Like yeah, she looks kind of creepy and she looks like she's dead, but you could have done so much more with this cover. It could have been so cool. You could have literally had the girl, like, going after her boyfriend or something. Like, come on, let's be creative here, not just put a random girl's face on the cover. The next book I have is Fateful by Claudia Gray. This book cover I love just because, like, can, can we see how shiny it is? I love it. But this book is about werewolves. Like, where... How does this have anything to do with werewolves? Like, yes, there is a full moon. But there's a girl. Like, the werewolf isn't even the girl. There's just this random girl on the cover. Like, why? Like, give me a werewolf, man. I just want a werewolf. The next book is Perfect Chemistry by Simone Eccles. I love this book. A lot of people hate it, but it's like one of my guilty pleasures. But this cover is just so bad. Like, there's so much more to the story than the romance, and just the cover is so cheesy. And I just can't with it. Like, it could have been so much better. Like I'm saying, for all of these books, the cover could have been so much freaking better. And it's just, ugh, it's so cheesy and just no. The next book is Shade by Jerry Smith Reddy. And this book is about a girl and her boyfriend ends up dying and then he won't leave her alone. And he's basically, like, stalking her in the afterlife. But how does this cover have anything to do with that? It's literally a girl's hand with a red ribbon. Just, why? I mean, it says love ties them together, death can't tear them apart, so I guess the ribbon is supposed to be his soul or something. I mean, if we're gonna get deep with this, but you could have done so much better. That's the theme of the video. And my final book, I've talked about how this cover bothers me so dang much, and it is Dead to You by Lisa McMahon. This book follows a nine-year-old boy who got kidnapped from his front lawn, and now 16 years later, he's returned to his family and they basically have to adjust to him returning. The book doesn't even take place in the winter so why is there like snowflakes on the eyelashes and like wh why is there a face? I don't... I just don't get it. Why do you do this to me publishers? Like you could have done so much better with this. And I'm just so disappointed in it. Alright guys, so that was my top 5 Wednesday for the most inaccurate covers. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye. Yeah.